Pirok. Is it off? And a shot well saved. And it's Malios again. Lobbed the first time. Gets the rebound. Bounces it over the crossbar. Landine with the save. And hopefully. And it's Malios again. Lobbed the first time. Gets the rebound. Bounces it over the crossbar. Landine with the save. Boskos. Panagiotu, he's clean through, tries to spin past the keeper, but no dice. Landine will not be spun that easily, that's for sure. Turnover, in fact, great work. Uh, can they score the counter-attack? <laughs> the on-rushing Kadiras a little bit too eager. Right here, a lot to be positive about the future of this team. Toskas, save by Landine, counter-attack opportunity again. Finally, the, there, but instead, that sets up the opportunity. Malios keeps the ball moving. And Rinking always looking for opportunities. Made the pass off. Low shot, a nice side. I mean, incredibly one-sided. We always figured Denmark were going to win. But they've been pushed hard. The attacker foul referees say no. You need all. Kaderis! Oh, it's kept out by Landine. The counter-attacking speed of the blow. Let's hope it doesn't happen again. Savas is big arm in him. Let's see what he can do from the penalty line. He can't find a way past Landine. Either way. And Cavalcanti with the shot. It's well saved. And it could be a two-minute suspension here for the shot to the face. Vecchia in the opening game. Sat out training the next day. Sat out the match two days ago. That's a good save from Landine. Rade trying to catch him out at the near post. No Martin Costa here. You can see how dynamic and active this Danish defense is. The ball tipped away, but out over the sideline, so Portugal hold on to possession. But, uh, as it looks like Denmark are not going to be giving away too many chances. Another save from the beginning. But, uh, I reckon we'll see more in the second half. And the shot saved. Empty net to shoot into. Or Matthias Kiesel, does he get a be? And it feels like uh, if it works out, it would be a brilliant idea to have made those changes. And the ball into the line. In a game like this for an entire 60 minutes, they need something else to go their way, particularly when the shooting is like that. Landine, ball over the top. Emil Axelin, clear through on fence. And they're not reacting too well to it. Oh, great save. Some of the changes they were making they had an eye towards maybe saving strength. <laughs> Almost snuck in. Say, been five two minute suspensions, but uh, none of them. Gietzel has exactly that so far. Cavalcanti, red, not interested in that pass across to Pedro Patel. Ah, the save by Landino. Oh, it's glorious. Let's pass out into the line. Smart stuff. Oh, and a brilliant save. Right. To face it. And it's Henfelda looking for a fifth penalty, and he can, and the rebound won't count because the time ran out finally. As well, but we haven't been able to see him do too much in the attack so far. Nice save by Landine. Steins tried to place it past. They have really nice, and Denmark falling asleep in defense, but Nicholas Landine bailing them out with that save. Another glock. For Steinen, ball into the line, nice pass, the finish has to be there, but it's not in the rebound. Picked up by Putlik. Not many passes left, Stoiters to Bayern, shot down low, well saved, down low. Halfway line, looking at his options, he goes right through himself. That's a little play, that creates a space for Bayerns, but Landin all over him. So an increase in the first game, and it's really beginning to fill up now. Oh. For Mikkel Hansen. And a brilliant save, Landine, what an entrance against Nai. Di Camem, who doesn't seem to even want to shoot. Good save. Fabregas having to shoot from an awkward angle. And back come Denmark. He's got to shoot. That's parried away. 